questions 1 through 10 on the 2021 grade 8 Goss math contest. The value of 999 plus 999 is, okay, 9 plus 9 is 18, carry the 1, then we have 1, 9, and 9, so that's 19, carry the 1, and then again we have 1, 9, and 9, which is 19, and there you go, 1, 9, 9, 8. So number 1, the answer is C. The perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 15. What is the length of each side? Well, if it's equilateral, then it's going to be something like this, where all three sides are the same. And we can call those sides x, x, and x, since all three sides are the same. And therefore, 3x is equal to 15, because that's the perimeter. Solving for this, 15 divided by 3 is x, and therefore x is 5. So the side length is 5. Number two, the answer is B. What is the greatest multiple of four that is less than 100? So 4x has to be less than 100, basically. Some multiple of four has to be less than 100. Divide through by four, and we get x is less than 100 divided by four. x, therefore, is less than 25. So the greatest multiple of 4 happens when x is less than 25. So that would mean x would have to be 24. That's the, the greatest integer less than 25. So 4x, therefore, is 4 times 24. And that is 96. So number 3, the answer is B. In the graph shown, which of the following statements is true about the coordinates of point P, X, Y? Well, X is over here. That's positive, right? Because everything on this side is positive. Everything on that side is negative. So X is positive. X is positive. Y appears here, somewhere there. Anything below the X axis is negative. So Y is negative. And there you go. The one that matches that is B of the answer choices for number 4. X is negative 6. Which of the following is greatest in value? Let's calculate this. For the first one, it would be 2 minus negative 6, which is negative 4. The next one, 2 minus X would be 2 minus minus 6, and that is 8. For the next one, it would be minus 7. This is just negative 6, and this is negative 3. So of these, the greatest, obviously, is this one. So that would be choice B for number 5. A water fountain flows at a steady rate of 500 mLs every 6 seconds. At this rate, how long will it take to fill a 250 mL bottle? 500 mL over 6 seconds is the same as 250 mLs over a certain number of seconds. So we can calculate this, this, and this. We'll just cancel to give 1 and 2. So then it, if you cross multiply, it becomes 2x is equal to 6. x is equal to 3. x is 3 seconds. So number 6, the answer is C. The number 17 is an example of a prime number that remains prime when you reverse its digits. That is, 71 is also prime. Which of the following prime numbers also has this property? Okay, so they're all prime. Well, let's see what happens when we reverse it. 92, well, that's even, therefore that's not prime. 35, well, this is obviously divisible by 5, so that's not a prime. 23 revert uh, would be 32, that's even, that's obviously divisible by 2. 31, 31 is prime, and 14 is divisible by 2 since that's an even number. So the only one that holds this property is choice D for number seven. Initially, there are five red and nine black beans in a bag. There are three red beans and three black beans that are added to the bag. If one bean is randomly chosen from the bag, what is the probability that the bean is red? So initially, we have five red and nine black. And then you're adding an additional three red and additional three black. So in total, we've got eight red and 12 black. So we want the probability of choosing a red. 
So the probability, there's 8 red, and the total is what you put in the denominator, and that would be 8 plus 12. So it's 8 over 20. And in lowest terms, dividing top and bottom by 4, you get 2 over 5. So number 8, the answer is B. An ant begins its path at A, travels only right or down, and remains on the line segments shown. The number of different paths from A to C that pass through B is. Here's one path. There we go. And then let's backtrack a little bit, and instead of going that way, we can go this way. So there we go. I just got two paths. Two paths when I went that way. But how about if I go this way? Then I end up at B by going in that direction. And then again, here's my third path. And then here is my fourth path. So there we go. That's just pretty straightforward right there. Number nine, the answer is four. So that would be C. The digits of 2021 can be rearranged to form other four-digit whole numbers between 1,000 and 3,000. What is the largest possible difference between two such four-digit whole numbers? So we have to create the largest possible four-digit number and the smallest possible four-digit number using 2021, those digits. Well, the largest one, I'll put the 2 there, try to make it as big as possible. The next biggest is 2, the next biggest is 1, and then the only number remaining is 0. So this is the largest that I can make. The smallest, the temptation is put, to put a zero there, but then if you did, that wouldn't be a four-digit number. So the only number I can put here is either a two or a one, but I want this to be the smallest possible, so I'm going to put a one. Then I can put a zero for the second digit, and then there's only two and two left, so by default, I have to put those. And then I have to take the difference, and when I do, I get one, one, eight, eight. And that is indeed the difference between the largest and the smallest numbers that can be made with the digits 2, 0, 2, 1. So number 10, the answer is A.